very hard. So like some of the top chess players, um, they're they're like move accuracy is like 60 70 percent like really really good ones and that means 60 70 percent of the time they're making the exact right decision like in chess you know you can like move your pieces around and there's yeah. like let's say like four or five options per move and to pick the right one every single time is hard um so like based on what your opponent does you can make a move and that might not be the perfect move every time but it might be it might be good but it might not be the perfect one anyways there's been a, so there's a good been a, a good chess player is at 67 percent. you said 60 to 70 yeah i think that's okay. like the grand the grand masters like they make their per they make perfect moves like over half over half the time yo definitely we're thinking for the raid bro um so there's a recent controversy there's these grandmaster chess players they're like you know amazing and they're like super famous and everything there's an up-and-coming guy from america he's he's 19 years old and he just like he kind of burst into the scene, and he's like win he like winning all these tournaments. And um, recently, they've looked at some of his data, and he's had like ninety to a hundred percent accuracy. So he's either like an alien, like genius, or the the a lot of the a lot of the high end pros are like concerned about it. They're like this guy. Obviously, this isn't normal. Like the high the best people of in history have never been able to do that. How's he doing it? Have, and, like, t like, tell me more about this guy. Like, is it just he lives and breathes chess? Um, of course, they all do. I mean, just like we do, like, with this. Um, what's so, different about him? Like, is he a genius? Is his IQ, like, what's his IQ? Like, what's, like, what's different about this kid? I don't know. Like, he seems, like, very, very good at chess. Most, a lot of people are. But they, so, they, like, they, like, check you with a metal detector when you go to into a, to, into a tournament. Just like poker, a lot of the times you play like poker online, you know, it's all on your computer. But sometimes in, in poker, you go to the table and you play like in a casino, right? These big tournaments are played in person. So they're like over a board and they're moving the actual pieces around. So he, they had one of these in-person tournaments over the board. And this guy's making these incredible moves at these really high percentages. And they, they, sit, they put you through a metal detector. So like you don't have like an earpiece in that's telling you what to do necessarily. I mean, people are going to try to do whatever they can to be the best, you know, people are always going to try to cheat. So they're like, they like check people in metal detectors and they don't really know what he's doing. Um, and people in chatter saying the butt plug trick. And so one of the theories is that you could technically get a, a very small device into your anus and it could vibrate at a certain frequency based on like what you would need to do for the move. So like if you needed like your B three to go to d7 you could have some type of vibration sequence in the in the butt plug or some they, they or some somewhere on your body where it would vibrate so you would know there's there's like no way that he's that he's this good but they can't figure out what he's doing so you just i have a solution hmm you have to have all chess tournaments here on out completely naked with cavity searches what are we waiting around for let's get to world's edge yeah uh, that's what I wanted you to say. I mean, it would make it solved. way more exciting. There could be a, I mean, it's basically a category on Twitch already, like hot tubs and yeah, yoga, it, it, like yeah. loop, yeah, and like you could cold, you could totally, like, um, you could grease them up and and get them naked and um, cavity search them, yeah, and then have them have them go at problem it. solved. Do you have any other worldly problems that you need solutions to? I got you. No, no, but I think that was a very accurate uh, solution. So okay. I think we're going to be, I think, and I think it would be really good for the chess scene. Um, oh, it would for sure grow in popularity. I think it'd be really good. Like, I, all the kids would be like, I want to be a professional naked chess player when I grow up. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it is a scene that needs a little bit of revitalization. Like, it's pretty, yeah. it's pretty boring, like, in general. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, but like, even if you didn't know what they were doing, if they were naked, it would be exciting, I think. So mm -hmm. I also propose, and I agree yeah. that that should be what happens. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad we agree on that. Yeah. Easy. So stay tuned. I hope the chess category in Twitch but, blows up. But for real, for real though, like, are they, is, is he like hovering his hand over? Is there like you just gotta study his actions? You that's mm -hmm. that would say nothing that's obvious. It. Nothing obvious. I know nothing obvious, but like just study his actions. Like is he hovering his hand over certain pieces and his certain options? Like he's clearly really good at chess because like 
that wouldn't be enough for me to even like see all the moves and different options. No, no, but, no, no. It doesn't need to like. But it gives him an advantage to go from like 60, 70 percent to like 90 to 100. Like that's that's definitely enough. Yeah. Um, but so but is this a, would, would a metal detector pick? I guess there would be metal in this thing. There would be, yeah. They they go through metal detectors, so I would think it would pick something up. But Andrew I, played ALGS today. <laughs> Did you see the stream earlier today? Yo, Rainy, I was. We played in the qualifiers earlier. He was in quals all day today. Mm -hmm, we did. It was fun. I mean, not like the finals. Like, if you want to see Andrew like up on the final stage, like I, I don't know about that. He, he, he. I don't know about that. Well, but. Yo, John, is there a YouTube video of that? Can you put it in Discord? Metal detector is better than a cavity search for sure, for sure. But like, would that even pick up in the thing? A metal, like, is it? It would it be that? It would pick it up. You know. No. I don't know what kind of like could they like three like, D print out something like, that's like not metal? <laughs> do you need metal for? Or do vibrators have metal in them? Like I don't know if they do. I don't know. I mean, I I legit don't even know. I guess they would. I mean, I don't know. There's all there's... rubber ones. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think that's gonna fix anything. I I think it's all um, all the vibrators I use are all just all rubber. Ay, ay, ay. Um, same, Andrew. Same. My man. <laughs> oh, no.